notice when I'm playing these, I always move up and that's in pitch. It's never the direction your guitar neck is pointing because you could be sitting funny or sitting on a couch or have it strapped on or, so it's always up in pitch or down in pitch, all right? So I move up with my third finger and I move down with my first finger. And you want to get to where you can play this real smooth. Yes, you can slide up, but when you're practicing, play each note. And if you're just starting, use all down picks so your right hand can learn where each string is. And I am always holding on to this bottom string, my high E string. I'm in touch with the guitar. I'm in touch with the bridge, my palms resting on the strings really close to the bridge so it can mute. Now when I'm playing, it may look like I'm just floating, not touching the guitar as far as a reference point, but I've always got this pinky either touching the guitar or holding on to this bottom string as a reference. Um, I've played a long time. That's my eyesight. All right, so you need to develop your eyesight. I have the total freedom to come off the guitar and play, but as soon as I come back, I land right here. Give yourself reference points so you can develop eyesight. Whatever level you're at, you want to learn the basic form, then expand it, all right? Learning all five sections so you have an overview is great. But when you're practicing, start off by practicing the basic. As far as a metronome goes, if you're playing finger exercises, use a metronome. That is really where you build your muscle memory as far as left hand, right hand coordination, all right? Because that's all finger exercises are for. You're not gonna get your melodies out of that. You're not gonna find the patterns that you're gonna actually be playing. That's an exercise. That's like doing your sit-ups, your jumping jacks, you know, squats, that kind of thing. That's not the game itself. That prepares you for it, all right? When you're practicing your pentatonics, these are scales you're actually gonna use. So if you need a pulse, a pentatonic is great. But if you can provide that for yourself and play at a tempo to where you don't want to do this, you don't want to, you don't want to slow down in the rough spots and speed up in the areas that are easy. I'm tapping my foot. You can see my head moving. I'm feeling it in my entire body. If you don't feel it, what you're playing, no one will feel it. And you'll hear me say that a lot because it is so true, it's so critical. Music, if you wanna breathe life into these five dots, these five notes of the pentatonic, it's about feel, all right? Because there's just the five notes. We gotta breathe life into them and we do that by developing feel and being able to play these well enough to where we can play them in time and manipulate them, where it's not just a scale that we are playing, but it's something that we can play and um, add some rhythm to it, texture, different techniques, all right?